Right, currently the fan has no change in resistance as to whether it's hot or cold. So I've been told we might be able to repair this by replacing the oil that's in the viscous fan. So we're going to have a look at that before we go down the route of replacing. So to get this out, I think it's going to be four bolts just round there. Take the fan off. First of all, I need to look at taking the surround off. They are 10 mil bolts, so we'll just get those out. There's two obvious bolts at the top and one, two at the bottom to do as well. If you're doing this without removing the radiator, there's a bolt at each side, 10 mil. Undo that so you can pull the radiator forward. Remove the top hose so you can get the shroud up and pull the fan out. Just be careful. Right, once you've spent three years getting the actual fan out, you need to take the actual fan blades off. Again, these are 10 mils. Need that. Clean that up before we put it back on. What we need to do now is get these four bits out, four screws. Let's have a look. Right, to be honest, I'm not 100% sure how this comes to bits. So, what I'm going to do is get a screwdriver and see if I can prise it open. Can't find anywhere to get a screwdriver into it, so... See if I can break the seal doing that. Right, we've got the top off. Oil looks clean. But I'm not sure if there's enough in there. I think what we do is Top it up till you can just see it. Now we'll work that out in a minute. Let's get it cleaned up first. I right, need to make sure we don't lose the ring. Rubber ring.
but now magically seems too big for the uh, for the hole. Go in. I'm not sure how that worked. Yeah, I may need a minute to look at that. Uh, it seems, actually if I do it that way, I thought all the oil was out, but if you hold it and manually give it a wiggle, there's more coming out. So we'll do that for a few minutes, see if we can get all the rest of this uh, jelly-like substance out. That does seem to be moving freer now as well. Right, let's spray some WD-40 inside there, just to make sure we've got rid of all the brake fluid. I'll add that to drain, so we should be good to go on that bit. This is what we're using. I'll be honest, I'm not entirely sure how much needs to go in. But that's the reservoir. So we'll just wing it. That came out a bit quicker than I thought. I think we're just going to fill this till it's about level. Let that sink in as we go. Put you back on in a minute. Right, the reservoir area is now level. I'm not going to pretend I know how all this stuff works, but I think I've done what I can. So now we'll just put it back together and test run it. Right. Back with you shortly. Just remember to put it back together, kind of upside down, so you don't drop all the oil back out of it. Actually, before I forget, I sort of point out we haven't used much of this oil at all, so this is a 60 mil. Yeah, we haven't needed 60. So, if you can get a smaller one, I would do. Obviously, putting this back in the car is exactly the opposite to uh, how you took it out. Right, we've had a bit of a run with it now. Uh, a couple of hours uh, on the motorway, out on some lanes. Doesn't appear to be any leaks, temperature seems to be fine. Uh, yeah, we seem to be seem to be okay. The real test will be when we go to Wales, uh, and I'll have the trailer on, so it'll be under a bit more load. Um, so what I'll do, I'll drop a, an update on the uh, in the comments section below. Uh, once we get back from there at the end of the month, so yeah, all being well, that's sorted, and uh, for what it costs, it's always worth giving it a go. See you later.